Okay, hello all you people out there. This is Michael with Toonhouse Studios, and welcome back to another Game Maker related video. So, um, this isn't something that's directly re related to programming or making games or anything like that, but a fairly common problem for people first getting used to this Game Maker thing, especially if they're transferring stuff from uh, 8.1 or 8. whatever to Studio, is that you can't simply open uh, a Game Maker 8.1 file in the Studio. You see in here I have this uh, file path. Um, oh no, you get to look at my computer uh, directory setup. And you have this uh, the same folder open in here, and lesson1.gm81 is not showing up. This should, this, uh, that folder shouldn't be showing up either. I don't know why it's in there. Um, there we go. <clears throat> and if you, uh, if you try and open something, uh, nothing will show up there. You may also have noticed that when I, um, let me extract this. When I put my files up to download in the video description, um, and once again, the folder isn't showing up. Let's, uh, let's re-enter that. Uh, you won't be seeing any of these files that are showing up here. And that's because, for whatever reason, and I think this is one of the design flaws of Game Maker Studio, um, you, can't, you just can't simply open them. You have to actually come over here, import. Uh, I'm just going to be lazy and copy and paste this file path and uh, put it there and go. <clears throat> you have to actually import it. And uh, this GMZ here is a studio archive file. And I'll be showing you how to archive and uh, be able to send people your projects in a minute. Um, if you want to get to 8.1 or, God forbid, a GameMaker 6 save file, you can uh, switch the filter to this. And you can see this. And you can import that. And come, oh, right, I have to actually click import there. and. Um, you can run it just like normal. There are a couple deprecated functions in, a, in the previous versions of Game Maker that aren't anymore, um, that, 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 that they just have been removed from Studio. And if there's any of those, I believe you will see a message telling you what that is and what you'll have to change or the program won't run. And then you can, uh, you can go and, let's see, save this as, um, I don't know, this is a hideous save file. Uh, box. I don't know why this lit it up like that. And you can come over here and you have this folder, uh, lesson2.gmx. This here, this is actually, uh, this folder is equivalent to this over here. I don't know why they made it so complicated. I think it's so that they can make it cross-platform and have you able to say, send a, uh, a Windows Game Maker Studio project to a Mac Game Maker Studio project. Um, because I do know that there was some inc incompatibility there with previous versions. Um, and something else that trips a lot of people up is that you can't just take this, this uh, lesson2.gmx, and say email it to somebody or, uh, or post it on an internet forum. Uh, this on its own won't open up if you don't have the rest of this because this in here uh, contains the rest of what you need to make a game. Uh, also, if you, did, uh, if you didn't want to say zip all this and send this to somebody, well, I just opened up like two of the same things, um, you could and this is what I've been doing, you can come over here, File, Export Project, and then you can save it as a compressed Game Maker Archive Project file, whatever you want to call it there, and, uh, and it will show up like this, uh, lesson2.gmz in the folder that you're looking in. So that's that, that's just a video that I thought I should make because I know nobody has yet, but I do know that sooner or later somebody's going to be asking me about that because um, I do see that quite a lot on various programming forums, especially related to Game Maker. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I hope you all found that somewhat useful. Uh, so rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch some other stuff I've uploaded. I will be aiming to do two of these Game Maker uh, tutorial videos a week, and I will see you later.